now that we've installed the January 2012 payroll update, we are now ready to proceed with a TD1 revision and a payroll year-end close. The TD1 revision is done once per company and not once per machine. Let's verify the payroll tables that we have installed by clicking under Help and About Business Vision. Our system info, we'll see that we have the January 2012 payroll update. We'll hit OK and OK again. If we open the payroll module and browse some of the employees here, we can see that we have employees in uh, Newfoundland all the way down to Ontario. Now, if we go to amounts, we see here that these are the old July 2011 uh, tax credit and provincial claim rates. In this example, I have finished all checks for 2011 and am ready to produce checks for payroll year 2012. Since I have the January 2012 payroll tables installed and I have finished my payroll for 2011, I am now ready to do a TD1 revision and a payroll year-end close. In order to proceed, it is recommended once again to have everybody logged off Sage Business Vision and a complete backup of the data files uh, taken um, securely off-site and with multiple copies and a tested, verified copy. Once that is done and secure, we're ready to proceed with the TD1 revision and payroll update, payroll year-end. So let us um, close this module. Let's go back actually and let's take a look at the employee details and the earnings tab for, the, uh, for one uh, employee, for example. And we'll see that there is a mount for this year and last year. Um, let's say that we finished all our paychecks for 2011 and we're ready for 2012. Um, what we're going to do here is with the pair year and close, we're going to see that the amounts in this year will be shifted into last year. And the last year's column will then reflect 2011. This year is zero, ready for 2012 paychecks. Let's keep that in mind. Let's close this part. And we're going to go under utilities, payroll setup, and a payroll year end. We'll click on that. If you get a message such as this, hit OK and simply log in as of December or January of the next calendar year. As you can see here, I am currently logged in as of June for this example. So let's log in as of the end of uh, December of 2002, which is in this example, ABC Electronics. We'll go into Utilities, Payroll Setup, and we'll go under Payroll Year End. It will allow me to do it this time. I can simply say yes since everybody's logged off. One thing to keep in mind is that the Payroll Year End Close is independent of the Fiscal Year End Close. Um, the Payroll Year End is always done at the end of the calendar year where all the paychecks are completed for the current year and you're ready to do paychecks for the next year. Let's hit yes and it gives me the option of removing time cards. I will not remove any time cards since I want to keep all my records. I will hit OK. It processes all my employees and I'll hit OK. And if we go back under payroll and browse one of the employees and we go to earnings, you will see now that whatever was in this year is now shifted into last year, which indicates that I am ready to do paychecks for the upcoming year. And I'm ready to print T4s. The T4s will take values from the last year column. The payroll year and close is done only once per company and not once per machine. Now that we have confirmed that the payroll year-end close is done, 
it is now ready to do the TD1 revision. Let's close the payroll, go to Utilities, go to Payroll Setup, and go to TD1 Revisions. Let's hit Yes. And you'll see the rate here is for uh, January 2012 is 1.028. Let's hit OK. And this calculates the T1 revision updates for all employees. And again, this is done once per company, not once per machine. Let's hit OK. And let us now browse the employees. If we go to our test employee who is in Ontario, we can see the amounts are properly reflected under the task credit and provincial claim at $10,822 and $9,404. These are the basic tax credit and provincial claim exemptions. You may have other amounts depending on your claim code. Depending on your claim code and your claims, you may have different tax credit amounts. In that case, you may need to contact the Canada Revenue Agency for exact amounts. Now that the payroll year-end close is done, ready to do paychecks for 2012, um, it is a good idea to verify each employee's tax credit and provincial claim. Um, once you do so, you are now ready to produce checks for the new year.